Welcome to Torque Physics. How may I help you, please? Number 12, Torque. We're going to do number 12 on page 210. So go to a page. All right. I'm going to do three problems, and you're going to do the challenge problem. So here we go. Number 12. Torque is 550 Newton meters. Now, tomorrow we'll discuss torque is uh, in terms of automobiles and you'll hear the term foot pounds or newton meters that's really talking about force distance is required to turn a bolt and the largest force you can exert is 135 newtons how long of a lever arm must you turn use to turn the bolt uh when you do physics problems what do we draw picture so let's draw a bolt there's a bolt okay let's draw a wrench around it What do you guys think of that? Look at that, Miss Rep. Not necessarily, but okay. All righty. So <clears throat> we're going to exert it. At a, oh, we have a torque here of 55 Newton meters that is required to even turn the bolt. All right, if you had common sense, how would you push on this thing? Would you push on it if the wrench was up like this, or like this, or perpendicular? Perpendicular. You know intuitively that perpendicular is where you're the strongest. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. That's exactly right. So what angle is that? 90 degrees. OK? So we just don't know the distance. We don't know the distance. What's the definition of torque? Force times what? Force times the distance, R, times the sine of theta. Okay. Torque's 55 Newton meters. You know your force is 135 Newtons. You don't know the R, and you know sine of 90. Well, what's sine of 90 degrees, Trig? It's one. Right, Ryan? as long as you're in degrees. So it's 55 divided by 135. So you guys should have gotten 0 0.407 meters. OK? I'm doing this for you so you don't have to write, because you can't write, unless you want to write left-handed. Ambidextrous. OK? Number 13. You get all that chase? Okay, don't worry, it's it's on the YouTubes. All righty, I wish I could just clear this part instead of clearing the everything. Number 13, what's that? Well, I did. You have a 0.234 meter long wrench. A job requires a torque of 32 Newton meters uh, and you can exert a 232 Newton force. What's the smallest angle? Okay, so draw your wrench again on the bolt. Should I draw a monkey wrench? No, that's true. I wish they would. How's that? Is that a nice industrial wrench there? Okay. So now we know the distance, 0.234 meters. Okay, um, we don't. We know the torque is 32.4 newton meters, and you exert a force somewhere. But it's saying like, could you exert a force like this or like this, like this, like how? What would be the smallest angle that you could exert a force on it? You ever notice that? When you, have you ever changed the tire? You ever notice when the um when you take the lug nuts off that it's always strongest this way, like you can stand on it and turn it, but it's really hard to do it this way. Well, that's because of the sine of theta. Push and pull a, a metal iron thing. That's weird. So so we want to know the <clears throat> minimal angle. Okay, if you push it with uh, 232 newtons here, well, we don't want to know what that angle is. Well, easy. 
force distance sine of theta. Okay, 32.4 Newton meters. Your force is 232 Newtons. Whoops. 232 Newtons. Your radius is what? 0.234 meters. And how are we going to get sine theta? Is there a button on your calculator to where you can get theta? Riley, is there a button? No, there's not. No, you can't do this. You can't do sine negative one. You can't do anti sine. Mm-hmm. 32.4 Newton meters over 232 meters. I mean, 232 Newtons. That's really hard to write and talk. 0.234 meters. And you do anti sine of all that. Yes, Ariana, I called it anti sign. I'm sure it's inverse sign. What'd you get? 37? Or not 37? Yeah, 37? 37 degrees. Okay. Probably because you're using, uh, you forgot one of these, forgot the distance. Using Desmos. Probably because you're not in what? Degrees. You're not in degrees. Okay, number B. Don't skip ahead there, Christian um, Leitner. All right, so this thing is the exact same problem, except that this is 275 Newtons instead of 232. So what do you get as your theta for number B, for part B? What do you get for part B, guys? The only thing that changes is your force, but you do the exact same equation we just did. So go ahead, hurry up, calculate. 30. Yay! So 30 degrees, all right? So what that means is, okay, um, what that means is uh, the, the, the person with the less force, right, is going to need it to be more closer to parallel. The stronger person can... Um, you know, turn it with it pointing up like that a little bit more. But the person that's not as strong or not as heavy needs it a little bit closer to parallel. That's what that means. Yes. Yes, it is. That's exactly right. Well, because when you open a pickle jar, I want you to look, think of it as top down. There's the top of the pickle jar, right? Does the jar lid have a radius? Okay. So when he grips the thing and moves the force, does he need to move the force that way? Yes. Okay. So he would need a what? Larger force in order to get it to generate a torque. Yes. Now, there are more practical ways around that, like you can get a rubber belt to wrap all the way around, like almost all the way around, and then twist it. I've seen that. Yeah, like a rubber like a rubber fan belt and, and then twist the jar off because the grip is so good. Whereas, you know, a human has five grip points. The rubber has all the way around it. Yeah. Number 14. But Allie, what do what do women always say when 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 the guy twists the jar off? I did what? I loosened it. There you go. All right, number 14. All right, here's a bicycle chain, here's a pedal. Here is the pedal. Okay? Relative to the horizontal, it's 35 degrees. All right, your mass is 65 kilograms, but you have a weight pressing down on it, right? The It's 0.81 meters is the length of the uh, metal part of the pedal. Okay, what's the definition of torque? All right, it's 
Torque equals force times radius times sine of what? Theta. Okay, well, um, is the thing operating at 35 degrees? No, it's not. The weight is not operating at 35 degrees, Logan, because if we draw a triangle like this, okay, if that's 35 degrees, what angle is this? It's 55 degrees. So it's going to be out of 55 degrees. Okay, because if it was flat, look, it would be, if it was flat, it'd be 90. But now as you raise it, it becomes more of an acute angle. It's not 90 anymore. It's smaller than 90. It's 55 degrees. Yeah. Okay. No, obtuse means it's wider. Yeah, obtuse is wider than 90. Okay, so if we have kilograms here, how do we get weight? Times gravity. I'm glad I have a smart person in here. Mass times gravity times 0.18 meters times the sine of 55 degrees. Right, Ryan? Right. Because the pedals, the pedals, the force is, the weight's going down, yes? Okay. So the pedal's up here. It's not flat. So the weight's not operating at 90 degrees. You put the pedal up here. So now you've made the angle not 90 anymore. Okay. Now it's acute. So it's 55 degrees. So. Mass times gravity times 0.18 times 55 sine of 55 degrees. What do you get? There you go. 93 newtons. 93 newton meters. Newton meters is torque. Yes, you need newton meters. Newton meters. And then the challenge problem. I'll just start you off with the challenge problem. Here we go. Here is the pedal. Straight up. What do you think? James, where's the angle when the pedal's straight up? 90? What's 90 look like? Perpendicular. Yeah, but the pedal's straight up. What's the sign of 180? Zero. Yes. Can you pedal a bicycle with the thing straight up? No. You have to wait for it to move a little bit, and then you can generate a torque. Well, force times R times sine of theta. Well, if the sine, oh, if the sine of 180 degrees is zero, everything's zero. Well, now the horizontal, that would be sine of 90. What horizontal one? Okay, you have a pedal pointing straight up and you have a pedal pointing straight down on the other side. You ever rode a bike? <laughs> okay, so how much would it be if it was horizontal? So now we just take these same numbers. Torque equals um, mass times gravity times 0.18 meters times sine of what? 90. So now it's at maximum torque. So where are you really getting your power from when you pedal the bicycle? When the pedal is right there. And are you getting them from both pedals or just one? One. The other one's returning. No, it's at maximum right at the horizontal. Okay, so it's at max. Okay, so this is torque. This is going to be Friday. This is going to be your. Um, it's going to be on your test Friday. Chris Parham, my man. Yeah, write a pass.